Come on. How did I take damage? Come on, come on. Man, that's okay. That's two bombs. Yes! Yes! <laughs>everybody this is mr. D welcome back to my classroom and the mr. D cuphead let's play this is episode 5 so if you uh, have not seen the other episodes I recommend that you go back and start with number one or from wherever you left off but before we get into it I got to be a good teacher and give you the opportunity to be a good student so here's your class assignment for today number one watch the whole video two leave a like hit the like button right now and uh, make sure that you subscribe if you haven't done that yet and three make sure that you leave a comment down below and I'll give you the opportunity to respond to specific comments that I ask about if you do all those things and you're an a-plus student in my book okay so I didn't show it but there was actually something that I had wanted to purchase last time that I was there and it was this the pea sugar and what happens is if you have that equipped if you miss a parry your parry will actually like it'll it'll automatically parry for you so that will actually save me like a lot so all right yeah see just like that whoops all right gotta focus on the clouds and not necessarily the parrying so much all right so this fight seems pretty straightforward i forgot to look at the name of what this is but um Let's see, let's do this. Nice. Ah! I didn't think his tail was gonna get me there. Well, that sucked. Alright, the pea shooter definitely seems like the right item for this, though. Gosh, you have to go down to these lower clouds to get him. Oh, fire guy! No, 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 no! Oh! <laughs> oh, that sucked. So this fight is really particularly challenging because you have to make sure that you're uh, landing on all these clouds correctly, but then he's got all these different things that he's shooting at you to make sh uh, to keep you on your toes, like the tail from down below, the swirling, like, meteor or comet, whatever you want to call that, fireball. Ah! Dang it. Okay, second phase. Here we go. Oh! Gosh, that scared me, but he was in the background. Okay, so this one is... Like I said it, uh, before, it's particularly tricky, dang it, because you have to be on these lower clouds to be able to hit him. Ah, oh, shoot. Dang it, I missed the cloud. I, I, like, landed on it and fell off on the edge. Okay, there's actually no consistency about which ones are going to jump. I was trying to see if, like, they had a specific look on their face or something like that. Oh, that was really close. Ah, no, no, no! Oh my gosh. Okay, third phase. Here we go, here we go. I know I... What the heck just hit me? Okay, so I actually just changed my weapon layout. I thought it might be helpful to have the charge and the pea shooter. Um, mainly for that second phase. So that way... Because um, it's actually really hard to get shots in on the second phase with the pea shooter. So, I think it will be helpful to have um, the charge shot for that second phase. Okay, so now we're on to phase two, and I switched to the charge weapon. So that way I can focus more on dodging and, uh, and just get the shots in when it's more convenient for me. Yeah, this seems to be a lot better, for sure. Nice! Wow, okay, so on to phase three now. Oh! <laughs> Triple dragon head, all right! Time to use one of these. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna stay on the charge shot here. Woo, boy, this is gonna be close. Oh, dang it. Oh, oh look how close I was. No! Gosh, dang it. Here comes the flamethrower. Woo. Oh, he caught. He shoots you a second time. Okay, here he comes for a second shot. Okay. Let's do one of these. Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that's what cracks me up is I, I had a feeling that time. I only had one HP, but I knew that I would still be able to take him out for some reason. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> it's like having one HP, like, it, it's better for me or something. Okay, an A minus. Nice. <laughs> okay, well that is actually aisle two totally completed. And that was, by the way, that was Grim Matchstick with uh, Grim Matchstick at Fiery Frolic. I didn't say his name at the beginning, so. <gasps> hey, I found him. I lost my way while searching. Oh wait, sorry, I gotta do my voices. Um, crap. You know what? Oh shoot. Oh, I was trying to think of a voice for him, so I thought I could like restart the conversation over, so I could do it from the very beginning. All right, hey, all four of them together. Let's see what happens. Oh boy, you did it! We're a quartet once more. Gee, you must have run yourself ragged tracking him down. We can't thank you enough. Let's celebrate with a song. Ready, boys? Key of B flat. It's nice to rest your eyes and maybe go outside. Grab a book and get some air. So on <sighs> a little snack break. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I found him so we could get that little song. Because, yeah, like, I knew they would sing, but yeah, it's all about taking a break and stuff and resting your eyes. I will be going to bed after this, so I'll definitely be getting plenty of uh, rest after. Looks like I might have underestimated you, Bunks. You gave it to them debtors, but good. Go on over to the next island. Lots of fun times waiting for you there. <laughs> the little mugs has some fight in them. I'll say that much. They're making mincemeat out of them debtors. You see... I knew there was something special about those fellas. Well, don't be too sure just yet, boss. I think there's something fishy about those two. Don't blow your wig, Dice. If those two little think things try anything, I'll be waiting. Sorry, sometimes I gotta figure out the voices and remember what the 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 voices that I did from before. <laughs> Alright, well let's try this first one. Honeycomb Herald. Interesting. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoops. Oh shoot. Oh, okay. Oh man, I thought I was done. That was crazy. I can't believe I didn't die by like going into the honey for a hot second. Oh, okay. <laughs> Turns out you can parry that stuff like forever though. Okay. Now I'm gonna open up with one of these. <laughs> what on earth? I didn't know this bee was like magical. Ah! <gasps> I love how her wand is like a honey stirrer thing. Wow, she took up the whole screen there. Holy cow. So I'm trying actually a different weapon. This is actually a homing weapon that goes in on your enemy regardless of where you are. But the biggest setback about it is that it does like no damage. But I don't have to worry about aiming. I can just uh, focus on the obstacles and stuff. Wow, that actually went pretty dang fast. Oh boy. Ah! <laughs> okay, flying fists everywhere. Man, this homing weapon is actually really helpful. Oh wow, okay. That actually wasn't too hard. Um, that didn't take too many tries, and I honestly wasn't expecting to win on that round, so I didn't get too excited, so sorry about that, but no, it actually was really nice to get that done. Uh, switching, honestly, to the homing weapon and having the charge shot to, like, switch between them, that actually is what really helped. You know, that actually brings me to my teacher's tip of the day. 
If something isn't working, don't be afraid to change it up. Like with that boss fight that I just did, I switched my guns that I was using. I switched to the homing one, and that was way more effective. So that's my teacher's tip of the day. Don't be afraid to change things up if they're not working. Ach, that's Wolfgang. Oh, he's taking 10 notes to express Tonos verse of music. He has no conception of what I mean by less is more. I know you agree with me. Go convince that tin-earned clock. Tin-eared clock. He won't listen to me anymore. Rugged Ridge. Um, well, let's see. Um, having pea shooters is typically the best, and... Um, let's do spread. Those are the ones that I like to have for running guns so far. Now, it might, it might be different for this specific running gun, but that's typically what I like. Okay. So that's like a little balance. Going okay so far. We got some pickaxe throwing goats and stuff. But, um, yeah, the pea shooter. What on earth? Gosh, okay, I guess that blows like some air back. I was not expecting that. So it's just, I didn't even see like the animation and it just like started blowing me back. That was weird. <laughs> I made that way too easy for him. Oh, okay. It's like the Cave of Wonders up in here. Who dares disturb my slumber? I do, Mugman! Oh, you know what? To get that coin, I think I need to let it go down. There we go, and dash to get it like that. Okay. Uh-oh. Whoa, what the Mugman? And a little, like, dragon dude? Ah, there we go. Yeah, I definitely want those. Oh, that was close. Oh, nice. Let's do one of these. Yeah. Oh, gold coin. Oh, I missed it. No. Dang it. I missed the gold coin. I mean, at least I know it's there now, I guess. Because who knows, I might not get through. Oh. What's the matter? You never seen a Seda before? Cave of Wonders! It's me, Aladdin! Not really. Ugh. Here we go. Wow! <laughs> Just coming up and using the spreader actually gets it done really quickly. What the ogre, dude? Alright. Sure, I'll have to face him in just a second. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, I don't think you even need to sh kill that guy. I think um, you just have to run away from him. So we'll see what happens. But now I have a chance to get that coin. Okay, so I actually just switched to the charge shot and already it's showing exactly why I picked it. It takes out those pickaxe throwing dudes. Wow. It takes them out with one shot. So that's actually kind of a big deal. So I'm actually switching to the charge shot from now on. Nice. Okay. So doing really well this time. Um, like I've got three HP and we're making it to the very uh, like last part here. Okay, so I don't think I do any damage to him. I just need to focus on crossing. How am I missing those jumps? What is this? Gosh, dang it. Oh, I think I like need to show up with one HP when I get to the very end. Because <laughs> it's almost like I get too comfortable with having three HP and I'm like, there's no way I can lose or something like that. Oh, no, <laughs> I was right there at the end. Yeah. Ah! Finally, <laughs> yes, and three HP. That is actually my first run where I was succeeded with three HP. Yes. Oh, I only got two parries though. A, I think I got an A, yeah. Oh, if I had three parries, I would have gotten an S. Oh, that's actually kind of a bummer. Shoot. How's your assignment coming along, huh? Have you been watching this whole time? Have you left a comment? Have you uh, liked and subscribed? Have, if you've done those things, awesome job. Thank you for being a great student. Okay, Junkyard Jive. All right, this is a, um, 
Interesting. I think I can only hit him at very specific parts on his body. Yeah, so I just shot, um... What on earth? Wow, there's a lot of things you gotta watch for. So yeah, you have to just, oh, dang it. <laughs> so with this one, you have to shoot and destroy very specific uh, parts of his body. Like he, uh, I'm shooting uh, that little laser thing at the top of his head. Oh wow, I took two from that. Okay, I think that's the right thing to do though. Destroy the thing on the bottom, this little uh, shutter thing that like shoots out different ships and stuff. Destroy that first, and then rotate between the, th the uh, satellite beam laser at the top and his chest thing that shoots out missiles. Or whatever those are, lug nuts? I don't know. Nice. Okay, so timing those two things together actually worked really well, like alternating between those two things. That was really strong. Actually, really smart, rather. Nice, okay. Go. Uh, I think we've entered the third phase or something. I'm actually not 100% sure. Wow, so he keeps just rotating around like that, and you have to shoot him while he's moving like that. That's actually really hard. And you have to destroy these things before they get to you. Oh, boy. Okay, this is actually pretty challenging. <laughs> Oh, you can actually lead the bombs into each other. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, there we go. Man, that part was actually kind of hard. Okay, I got the mega bomb. Here we go. This is definitely the third phase right here. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Come on. No! Oh, shoot! Okay, 3 HP. I'm at the very, very end. Well, not the very end, but I'm on the final phase. And this one actually goes for a while. So this is, uh... This is one where you gotta stay on your toes for quite... Are you kidding me? Alright. Well, I shouldn't be able to get a big boom on him then. Okay. Come on. How did I take damage? Come on, come on. Man, that's, okay, that's two bombs. Yes! Yes! Oh, go back to your basement! Oh, you creepy scientist! Oh. oh. Okay, that was a tough one. That was definitely a tough one. Um, have to figure out the order to destroy things in the very beginning. Now, that was definitely tough. Now, if you've watched this entire time, I'm really sorry. I couldn't think of a specific co comment to, like, ask you guys about. All right, so that's actually going to be it for this episode. Now, if you did all of your class assignments, then you got an A-plus for the video. But if you didn't, here's a way you can make up your grade. Here's some homework for you. I want you to do some research about a game that you'd like me to do for a Let's Play and leave a comment about it down below or on another video and let me know what you guys want to see in the future. Other than that, class adjourned.